Hey friend, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke chapter 15 verses 17 to 19 today as we're breaking down into bites we can actually do in a short three-minute video. Uh, morning by morning, the prodigal son. Here we go, verse 17 to 19. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish here with hunger? I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So the prodigal got his inheritance early, shouldn't have happened. Uh, he went out, he wasted it on wild living till it was all gone. Then there was a famine in the land. He winds up feeding the pigs. He's totally humiliated. He's hungry. He can't even, even the pigs are eating better than he is. And he says to himself, you know, he comes to himself. And that's really kind of the important piece here, coming to himself. A lot of people don't seem to ever come to themselves. They don't really ever figure it out. They don't ever figure out why, how their heart is wrong. They don't return and become repentant and return to Jesus and come to God. They they just carry on like blindly doing stupid stuff until they die. And look at this. But when he came to himself, so he, he finally began to figure out he was way off the beam. He was way out there. How many of my, he's reasoning, how many of my father's hired servants, they've got enough to food and be, eat to eat and beyond. And he says, here I am very hungry. He found out that it was a lot better at home than he thought. And how many kids today, you know, leave home and they, they, they thought that it was a terrible prison house to be at home with mom and dad and, and to be under the rules of the house. And they left home and then they found out after they left home that, hey, I really had it good when I was living with mom and dad. But here we have this guy. He does figure it out. He says, you know what? I will go to my father and I will say to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. If I could just have a job, like be like one of your hired servants, I'm not even, I'm not worthy to even be a son. But if I could just be one of the servants, at least he thought to himself, at least I won't be starving. Now we'll see what the father does with that here. Look at this. This is humiliating. This young, wild person is figuring out that they were way wrong. And now, humbled and filled with shame, they're going to go back home and plead for a job. Not even to be a son, just to plead for a job. And this is a work of the Holy Spirit. And we need to pray that any of our loved ones or ourselves who've, who've left, left the right way, that God will humble us into the dust if that's what it takes, whatever it would take, to have for our heart to be right and to return to Jesus. Let's pray, in fact. Father in heaven, Lord, this is the key right here. This is the key piece, coming to ourselves, being, being able to finally hear the continual call from heaven to repent. Help us, Lord, to be repentant people, to turn our hearts, to be turned towards heaven. Lord, please help us to return to our Father's house if we've gone astray, if we've gone out and done wild living and crazy immoral living and and, and we've lost our way, and we're just, just now hearing this, and we're turning back. Lord, help us. Help us to turn back. We plead with you, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, if, you're, if you've been away from the Father's house, I just want to say to you, the Father, well, we'll see it tomorrow morning. The Father's waiting to receive you. He's never forgotten you. And please come home. Oh, please, come home. God's blessings be upon all of you.